So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do the drive tires and the caster tires. We're gonna start with the drive tires. The tools you'll need is either, I've got a hand jack here, or something to prop the chair up on. You could use two by four or uh, anything. Anything you can rest the chair on just to get this wheel maybe half an inch above the ground. Uh, and the other thing you could use is a 11 16 socket set and then a flathead screwdriver will help you pop that cap off. So as you can see, I have my hand jack holding the unit up. You, like I said, you can use anything. You could use a two by four or anything under here that will get this tire just up off the ground. So that way when we pull it, it's not gonna drag on the ground. So the first thing we're gonna do is grab our Phillips or our flathead screwdriver. There's a little notch in this shroud right here. Let me just pop that out. This exposes our 11 16th bolt. All we have to do is take that off with our socket set. That is the only thing holding this tire on. There we go. So you've got the bolt and then just a little washer. Once you have that off, the tire just slides out. If you're having a new unit, it might be on a little tight, um, but it should just slide right out. Don't lose this little key down here. There's a little, uh, little key that holds the tire on. You can see it fits in right here. So you might see it fall off. If it does, you just wanna make sure that's back on. Putting the new tire on, you want to make sure that this lines up with the key. You have it facing straight down in this case. So we're going to line it up. And then slide the tire right on. From there, all you do to secure it is put your washer back, your 11 16th nut, and then just tighten it again. Just make sure it's on tight. Pop your cap back in and it just snaps in. Then that is how you change the drive tires. Next, we're gonna do the casters. Now I'm gonna show you how to replace this caster tire. The front and rear casters are the exact same, so this should apply to both. I still have this jacked up, so I have a little bit of clearance underneath. And then the way to take this off is to remove the bolt that goes straight through it. On one side, we have a half inch or a 13 millimeter uh, nut. And then on the other side is a five millimeter Allen screw. So we're just gonna hold it with one side with our Allen. The other side, we're going to loosen this nut. Once that's off, this bolt just slides out and our caster tire comes off. And as you can see, there's two washers on the inside holding it in. So getting the tire back on is a little trickier. I would recommend getting a small screwdriver like this um, to help you out, because getting these lined up on the inside is a little tricky. So what I recommend you do is to take your screwdriver, put it through the hole, put on your washer, put on your tire, then push that screwdriver through. Try to stick on your second washer on the tip of the screwdriver. Then push it all the way through. Then essentially we're going to use the screwdriver to guide our bolt all the way through. There we go, we're through the washer, through the tire, through the second washer, and now we're through. You can do it without the screwdriver. You can try to manually get it through. There's a bearing in this tire that uh, you might have to shift around a little bit to get it to go all the way through. That's why I recommend it this way, but you can just try to freehand it with the bolts. But once that's on, we'll tighten this up. Then just tighten the nut again. You don't want these too tight because you still want your tire to spin. So it spins freely. If I were to tighten it too much, it wouldn't spin. Uh, but that looks pretty secure. And that is how you change the caster tire. 
So this has been how to change the tires on the Jazzy Evo 614 HD. If you like this video or if you have any other questions on this unit, feel free to give us a call. Thank you for watching. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.